I'm the genius Asian. Welcome to the genius family. A viewer asked me, how do you pour oil without the funnel, without spill? When a person has a bottle to pour oil into the engine, there are three elements in this procedure. One, bottle. I'll show you different bottles and different way to hold the bottle. Two, engine. I'll show you different designs from different cars. Three, people. Some people are more experienced and have a steadier hands because there are variations for each element. There are many combinations of these three elements. Today, for each combination of the three elements, I'll show you the optimal way to pour oil into your engine. Let's look at the bottle first. This is a new bottle, but it's not full. The manufacturer feels only this high. Notice this opening is off center. If you tilt the bottle this way, the oil will start pouring out at this angle, which is 60 degree. Because the opening is off center, if you tilt the opposite way, the oil will not start pouring out until almost horizontal. This is a, a huge difference. This way or this way. I'll use the transparent soy sauce bottle to demo again. See, this way it's already pouring out at this angle. And this way it's almost horizontal. If you are skilled enough, you could just pour this into the oil port. If you want to be extra careful, you can dump out some oil first so that you can point the bottle further down. It's less likely to spill when the bottle is pointing down. A lot of people pour this conventional way I call it V1. The other way I'm calling V2. Some claim V1 is the wrong way, V2 is the correct way. However, this is only true in some cases for some combination of the three elements. Now let's take a look at the second element. Let's see the different cars. For some cars, V1 is better than V2, and for other cars, neither one works well. The first car is a BMW. As you can see, there's a space for a bottle. When you hold the bottle horizontally, the vertical distance between the bottle top and oil port is zero. In this case, V2 works well. Now, the second car doesn't have enough room for a bottle. When you hold the bottle up to pour, there's some space between the bottle and oil port. In this case, if you pour the oil using V1, you minimize the distance between the bottle and oil port. So V1 is less likely to spill than V2. For the third car, V2 doesn't work because there's no room for the bottle. See, there's a very large vertical distance between the bottle and oil port, even bigger than the second car. Just keep in mind that pouring the oil this way will prevent undershooting, but will likely cause overshooting. You may place your least favorite credit card here to prevent overshoot. But I don't like the credit card solution because it's not the easiest. There's a definitely a missing solution here. Normally people know only one way, the obvious way, we want. A few years ago, I published a video showing how to make DIY funnels. In that video, I said there are two ways to pour and V2 is better than V1. But that is only true when you are using the funnel. In today's video, we don't have a funnel. For example, when you're traveling, you don't have a funnel. When you don't have a funnel, there are actually three ways to pour oil. Two of them I already described, V1, V2. The third way is like this. I call it V3. If you are trying to prevent oil from undershooting, V3 is better than V1, but worse than V2. So starting from today, everyone should say there are three different ways to pour, not as two ways as we originally thought. See, this is an Audi Q7. You can't pour using V2, the vertical distance would be too high. So you have to hold the bottle using V3 and dump the oil like this. In summary, you should always try V2 first. If your car can't use V2 to pour, you can try V3 or V1 while controlling the flow really, really slow. The next few methods will let the oil out slowly, but you only need to dump a little bit so that the bottle can tilt downward. For some bottles, there may be a seal. You use your fingernail to open a crack without removing the seal. See, with the seal half open, you can place the bottle horizontally without spilling. If your car has the room, use V2 to place your bottle horizontally. See like this. Let the oil out slowly. 
If you don't have the room, you can press the seal with your finger and use wave 1 or 3 to let the oil leak through the crack. But whatever you do, don't let the foil fall into the oil port. If the cap doesn't have a seal, the solution is to leave the cap on. First, you need to make sure those caps will not fall deep into the engine. This cap is small, but it's attached. These two are very big. They are safe to use. First, I will check the size of the cap. See, it does not fall deep into the engine, so that is safe to use. Second, I will find a place this bottle can rest securely. Next, I'll unscrew this cap slowly so that the oil will drop into the oil port. I'm lifting this so you can see clearly. You don't have to lift the bottle. It's better to go slowly and be patient. This larger jug with larger cap is not as easy. You may use the dipstick to guide the oil. It may not be as easy. You have to have a patient and the skill to hold it steady. But when you are traveling at the middle of nowhere, this certainly will impress your wife or your husband. If you don't want to clean funnels, you can store your caps. See, I draw a hole in the top of the cap and I store the cap instead of a funnel. I put in the back and put it in where my car jack is. And if I collect enough number of different size caps, I will find a match next time I need it. To use the cap, press the hole and fit the bottle into the oil port. I'm going to demo some other ways to make a funnel. Our dealer placed this behind our registration plate. I can just fold it and make a funnel. Also, if you have an envelope, you can tear a corner to form a funnel. If you are at home, it's very easy to make a funnel for free. Check out my other video to make funnel at zero cost. I want to thank viewers for asking this question. Please leave your comments below and ask tricky questions. <laughs> Share this with people who you know that need it. Leave your own genius tips in the comment section below. Don't forget, I'm the genius Asian. Subscribe for more useful videos.